the background is because he is, I don't know what he's doing. He's just bellering. He's a bellering goat. Um, make sure if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you also hit that little bell notification beside the subscribe button so that you are notified whenever I post any kind of goat tying or workout video or if I just have some kind of blooper going on, okay? So today we're going to be talking about two and three ply strings. This video is mainly for those that may be new to goat tying and they get to a website and they're like, two or three ply, what's the difference? So this video is for you. So, also, I've got a very biased opinion uh -huh. in which it's probably going to come out, um, but that's just me, okay? Um, so uh -huh. anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started on talking about strings. So, the first string that we're going to talk about is your two-ply string. Uh -huh. A two-ply string has literally two strands that are wound together, okay? So they're intertwined uh -huh. together. Your three-ply string is three strands that are bound together, okay? Whenever you look at the two, as you can tell, as you get more strands, the smaller the teeth get. Now, what are teeth? Teeth are these individual little divots in between the strands, okay? So, whenever you look at it, I always try to think, how deep are my teeth? Your teeth are just those little divots in between the strands, okay? So... The teeth, what do they do for us? The teeth are what, whenever you go to like finish your tie, that's what holds your string together, okay? So those little teeth interlock, kind of like our teeth, and they they lock together to hold this string together whenever you finish tying, okay? So from there, we just kind of like look at these strings. Your two-ply string, which is the one that I like the most, it's got bigger teeth, is a little bit thicker okay so that's really the only difference in this string and it also like to me it's got more of a mature feel so like i know where it's going at all times your three ply string is very thin this is what a lot of people like for their young kids because they've got small hands personally whenever i look at them there's not that much of a difference in the diameter of the two but it's personal preference okay your three ply is going to be a very like a much thinner string, okay? But it's also very wiry. So like whenever I go for it, like I've got this string all the way down, and it's not even pointing close to where I want it to to be close to the feet, okay? So it's got a very wiry. Whereas this string, where I put it, that's where it goes, okay? But this is all personal preference. Um, you might be able to find a softer three ply string. But this is really the only difference. So when you look at the two together, your two ply have the deeper teeth, okay? It might be just a tick, just a tick thicker than the other one. Your three ply is gonna be really thin. Its teeth are like barely nothing. Um, and so that's, that's really the difference. That was Gary. Um, your three ply string, also the teeth don't really go together very well. So there's a lot of goat tires that have to put rosin on their string because literally I can sit here and move the string across the teeth because they don't lock in as well because they're not as, they're not very deep like this two ply string, okay? So that's really your difference. That's your two ply and three ply string and the difference between the two. Um, I know I have a very bi biased opinion about it. I'm very sorry about that, but that's just how I am. Okay, three plies, I'm like, eh, it's better up time with a gate, okay? But that's just me. It's, it's okay. But that is your difference, okay? Um, two ply is going to be a little bit thicker, just a little bit. It's going to have deeper teeth. And I feel like it just, whenever you place it somewhere, that's where it goes. Your three ply, very thin string, very thin teeth, like hardly any. And whenever you put it somewhere, it only goes about... 75% there, so you really have to like push even further with that string to get a tie on, okay? Gary's getting in my feed. Anyways, so I hope this video helps you, you guys in some way. Let me know if you have any questions about anything. I'm always here to help you in some way. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you learned something from it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification so that you are notified as to whenever I post any type of video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all back here tomorrow with your workout. Have a great day everyone.